KALB. This is a first alert Storm Center update. And checking in on the tropics, tropical storm Philippe out in the central Atlantic currently has winds of 50 miles per hour moving to the west northwest at 12 miles per hour. And Philippe is going to be heading in a westward direction, eventually fizzling out, it looks like, before really uh, affects anyone. So uh, good news there. Meanwhile, we have Invest 91L that's been continuing to organize now up to 90% probability of development. So we're likely to see this become at least a tropical depression, but those uh, computer models bring Bring you this up to tropical storm, even hurricane status potentially. But that will be heading out into the central Atlantic and will most likely not be a Gulf of Mexico threat. So we're down to the R name now. So if that does get a name, it will be the name Rena. That will be followed by Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. And look at our surface map here across the area. Stalled boundaries here uh, across Louisiana to our north and to our south. A little bit of isolated shower activity here, but most has uh, fizzled out for this evening. We do have some upper level trough here across the southeast. This will remain in place here for the next few days and uh, at least give us a shot at some rain. Doesn't look like anything significant, but uh, certainly some low end rain chances. But going into Friday, we start to see high pressure ridging building and eventually this is going to lead to some drier air pushing in as well uh, for the upcoming weekend. So rain chances tomorrow, pretty hit or miss. Uh, best chances to the south, uh, but we are looking at the possibility of some scattered showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two in the p.m. hours tomorrow amounts would most likely be pretty low with less than a half inch. So into Tuesday morning, we could see some patchy fog early on into the afternoon, partly cloudy with some spotty rain, a possibility, and then that would wind down tomorrow without loss of daytime heating. As far as temperatures go, a little bit milder tomorrow, upper 60s to around 70 degrees here for those low temperatures and then highs on Tuesday, still around 90 degrees or so, some upper 80s there as well. Average highs this time of of September usually down to about 86 and the record for tomorrow is 98 so we're a bit in between there and uh, certainly cooler than the 100 degree high temperature that we managed to sneak in there over this last weekend dew points here again staying up so we're pretty humid to muggy the next few days we do see a dip in dew points here heading to the weekend so uh, it's gonna we're gonna be looking at some pretty refreshing weather here for that uh, last week of September first day of October on Sunday so planning it for Tuesday some patchy fog early on with those temperatures around 70 low to mid 80s here by lunchtime and by five o'clock upper 80s winds out of the northeast tomorrow at five to ten and we will be looking at partly cloudy skies tomorrow afternoon with a chance for one of those showers look at our forecast here over the next several days uh, we have decreasing rain chances here heading into the rest of the week so uh, tomorrow Wednesday some isolated to uh, widely scattered storms a possibility after that rain chances uh, kind of shutting off as that dry air pushes in and the ridging for the upcoming weekend with that drier air we should have some slightly cooler temperatures heading into Saturday Sunday and Monday morning kind of back to the low to mid 60s there in the mornings high is pretty steady this week in the low 90s and again this weekend early next week looking sunny and dry